whenever I've gone to some kind of event, something like a work experience, an insight day or a conference of some sort, and someone my age asks me, what A-levels do you do? And I give them my answer. Yeah, man, I do maths, further maths, economics, chemistry. Bro, further maths. You must be a neek, man. That is usually the response that I get. Or it's a... Yeah, good luck, man. Further maths, you're finished. What is it about further maths that makes everyone go so crazy? When you told them you're four or three A-levels and they respond. They respond as if the only thing that they've heard is further maths. Ayla, are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Well, I'm going to be telling you everything that you need to know about further maths as an A-level before you decide to pick it as a subject, as one of your choices. First of all, it's important to say further maths is hard. Further maths is difficult and you will face the challenges. Oh my god, man, what does this even mean? You can't be asked. Unless you are some kind of genius, like crazy IQ or you've been doing A-level further maths before you got to your actual A-levels. You've been working ahead. You will find things difficult at one point. I can guarantee no matter how good you are at maths, no matter how good you were at GCSE maths, GCSE further maths, all the way through your life at maths, there will be a point where things will be slightly difficult, if not fully difficult, because you're going to have to put in the effort to learn new things. Unless you've done GCSE further maths, everything is brand new. And if you've done GCSE further maths, like 95% of it's going to be brand new. So it's like a completely new subject. Yeah, it might be stepping stones to what you've done in maths, what you've done in A-level maths, but it's significantly different. The point of A-level further maths is to further broaden your understanding of maths as a subject, not in terms of your mathematical abilities, but sort of understanding how it works, understanding procedures, understanding points and why things are the way they are. And it's difficult. So if you're not someone who's not going to be putting in work, you know you're not fully academically driven, you don't have higher goals, A's, A stars, click off. This video is not for you. There's no point watching the rest of the video because you will struggle and you will end up dropping it if you do four. And if you do three, you're basically, you're, you're restricting yourself from achieving better grades if you did another subject. So click off. But... The thing about further maths is to get into the top universities, like Cambridge Economics, LSE Economics, they require further maths to be a subject that you do at A-level. And that's the reason why a lot of these people pick further maths in their A-levels. And that's completely fine. If it's something you have to do, then you have to do it. If it's something that you need to achieve your future goals, then pick it. Just be sure to put in work, put in Put in hours, nights, like there's so many late nights before exams where I'm staying up. This is a big downside in my opinion. Compared to maths as an A-level, there's not as much content, as many resources, as many revision sites that you can find on the internet for further maths. Because it's a difficult A-level and not many people do it, so there's not a lot of option for you. A lot of the YouTube stuff is, is restricted, Bison Maths, I think you have to pay for some of his further math stuff. Hopefully it makes that free. The other people, they're not too great. So there's not a lot of free resources. And this makes studying further maths at home, especially the, the later parts, the parts you do in year 13, a bit more difficult. Not impossible, but a bit more difficult. So this is where your relationship with your teacher really comes into play for further maths. If you don't have a good relationship with your teacher for, for further maths or your teachers aren't too good, then it might get difficult because you will need your teacher's assistance at some point to explain things to you because they're not widely available. Yo, man. 
I can't find any resources to revise further maths, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna fail. What? Nine stars? Discord server? They're bringing A level further maths resources. There's a link in the flipping description to join right now. For the new year, they're gonna. Yo, you're lying, bro. Oh, they're actually gonna save me. They're gonna save my grades. Bro, this academic year. That's coming 2024, 2025. Nine stars is going crazy. Make sure you join the Discord server with the link in the fucking description. Cause I'm telling you, A level resources. We're done with GCSE. We're gonna have GCSE and A level shit going on now. So make sure you join to help aid your A level revision, A level journey. Whether it is Nine Stars is the platform that you need. It's a platform with expert help help from current students students that have finished a levels and they will help you they are available so make sure you join the nine stars discord server in the description now i know i mentioned that you should do a level further maths if it's required and to be honest if it wasn't required for me because i want to study economics i would still pick it because i enjoy maths and that might be you you might be someone who loves maths as a subject and you can still pick further maths if it's not required because you will enjoy it. You will enjoy the difficulties. Don't get me wrong. There's times where I'm like, oh, oh, oh I just want to sleep. But compared to the difficulties I face with chemistry, I'd rather face the difficulties in a subject where I'm actually interested. I actually enjoy. There's that thing about the more you put in, the more you get out again. The same as A-level maths. The thing about A-level maths is, with the amount of effort that you put in, you will get results. If you put in so much effort, you will definitely, guaranteed, get those results. Because even your bad day in maths, where you're not thinking properly, it's all stuff that you've already done. It's all engraved inside your brain. And you just have to look at the question, you don't even have to process it after so much practice, so much effort. You look at the question, you just know what to do. Your hands just start moving because you've done it so many times. It's all natural to you. Something that's like an essay based subject. You read the question. Oh, I need to plan out my essay. I need to think about what I'm going to write. Oh, I need to do this. I need to do that. You might fail. You might jam your essay because you're struggling because you can't think of ideas for that particular question. It's not the same with maths and further maths. You will get the results if you put in effort. So it's a, it's a plus side, it's a big plus side. Take that into consideration. It also builds a lot of skills which are applicable in other subjects, applicable in other courses that you might study at university, your career, whatever, because I think further maths builds a sort of resilience within you compared to any other subject. A sort of resilience where you're faced with so much new content. And it's a lot of content, by the way. I have not said that yet. It's quite a lot of content that you have to go through. And the th some schools do it differently. You should look into what your school does because what some schools do is they study all of maths in year 12 and sit the maths A level, like the actual exam at the end of year 12. And then they do year 13 further maths. But my school, my sixth form, they do it together and I sit both exams at the end of the year. So definitely look into what your school does. And it might, it might play a factor. I would have preferred if my school did all of year 12 maths and then focused on year 13 further maths, but it is what it is. And it's a lot of content that you have to cover. So be ready. Be ready to be in with fast paced lessons. You learn something in one lesson. Think about maths is the next lesson or your starter is that you're doing the thing that you did last lesson. You get to really reinforce and build up on what you did last lesson. It's not the same. You're likely to be faced with fast paced lessons where you learn something in one lesson. The next lesson you're learning the next thing and you won't go back to it until at like the end of the entire topic. If you have a revision lesson and that too in my like, school particularly, there's not a lot of time for revision lessons and stuff for further maths. So 
if you're not someone who likes to go so fast paced who likes to be just dropped you're just dropped in deep water with firm maths and you have to be ready to like swim your way through and if that's not you then it's not a subject that you should be picking back to the skills you're going to develop these problem solving skills this resilience this it's just it's a mindset building thing i know this sounds crazy you've probably never heard this from anyone it's a mindset making thing where you build this soft belief you put in the effort you put in lots of effort and hopefully you get the results after these results you build this soft belief where it's like yeah i can do this yeah this might be new content but i can do this compared to another subject where you might be putting in lots of effort you do the exams if you've put in lots of effort there's still that likelihood that chance that you might fail and then you've broken that soft belief you've lost that soft belief and that's what i like about further maths i feel like it challenges me but it challenges me to become better as a person and that's what this channel is about self-improvement fitness working on yourself all of that stuff so subscribe if you haven't already because the content is coming through consistency is coming through you will need it for your a-level journey your university journey i'll be i'll be doing vlogs in university man if i get in hopefully i do but i have so much stuff to show you so much content to offer and you you need to subscribe so subscribe like the video hit the notification bell and i think i have a day in the life coming soon or a morning routine something like that so stay tuned thank you for watching